Hi there, guys. Welcome, welcome back to my teacher chat. Uh, we are going to be practicing our reading and pronunciation as we read through some short stories. Um, the link to these short stories we're going to be taking a look at uh, is in the chat box. Okay, go ahead and up. Okay, the first Google chat video uh, right there. Uh, very good. So, uh, when you uh, when you get into class, uh, we'll be going to. Uh, I'll show you which story we're going to uh, take a look at. Okay, uh, we have 365 stories there. So, um, I'll show you show you which one in just one moment. Uh, very good. Let's see. Hi there, Victor. Hello, How you chef. doing? I'm doing well. Okay, thank you. How about you? Awesome, awesome. I'm doing great. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. How about uh, Ida? Hi there, Ida. Hey, Welcome. Chad. Uh, good to have you here. Welcome back to class. Thanks a lot. Okay, very good. Uh, we also have Amparo. Hi there, Amparo. It's probably uh, going to take you a bit uh, with the with Hangouts. It took me a long time to get it up and running. So uh, yeah, chime in, uh, chime in when you're Hi. ready to. Can you hear me now? Hi there. Hi. Yeah, yes. I can hear you. First, I received the message. The Hangout party. It's over. Yeah. Then try again. Try again. Yeah. Yeah, because I had I had started it and then the app wouldn't load and so I had to close it back down and then start oh. it again and then it took forever. Took forever and then I was just <laughs> sitting here waiting as it was loading and loading and loading. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, we also have Leonardo. Hi there, Leonardo. All right, probably waiting on your. Um, uh, for Hangouts as well. Okay, uh, here we go, you guys. Let's uh, let's go ahead and go to our short stories. The link is in the chat boxes for you. If you can't find it, I'll put it in the Google chat chat box one more time. Let's see. Should work. Hold on. Uh oh, my screen share isn't working. Oh, okay, Hi, give me one second, you guys. Let me... Hi there, Leonardo. How you doing? Fine, and you? Okay. I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and uh, exit and then come right back in. Something, something's not working right, okay? Uh, so I'll be right back, you guys, right? Okay. There we go. All right. Back in the game. Here we go. Let's see if it, uh, it's actually it's moving, moving a little slow, but uh, we'll see. All right. Hi there, Orlando. How are you? Excellent, Chad. Hello, yourself. Hello. Hello. Do you? Hear? I'm doing great. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there. Yeah, I can hear you just okay. fine. Excellent. Okay, you guys. Um, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, our story here. Okay. Uh, so scroll down. We're in the 300s now, uh, and we are going to start on number 309. All right. And let's start off with Victor tonight. Victor, let me have you read this uh, first paragraph from Plop down to India. Plop, Alfred woke up and immediately knew why he was awake. The paper boy. It was 5.30 a.m. A while later, he finally got back to sleep. Later that morning, he made a phone call. The customer service rep asked if he could help. If if he could help, 
Afet couldn't believe his ears. The rep had an Indian accent. Alfred was calling to complain about the Los Angeles Times and he was talking to someone in India. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to the word complain. Long A sound here at the at the bottom. Uh, to complain. Try that. To complain. Okay, very good. And uh, the other word I want to practice with you is the word couldn't. Instead of ku couldn't with an u sound, it's u uh, couldn't. Try that. Couldn't. couldn't. Okay, good. One more time. Couldn't. Couldn't. Good, good, nice job, nice job, um, and yeah, everything else is pretty good. Okay, nice, nice job, nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's go to Orlando. Orlando, let me have you continue from he told the rep, and read down to here where it says uh, talk to the supervisor directly. Okay. He, uh, he told the rep to tell the paper boy to deliver the paper quietly at 5.30 a.m. Alfred, uh, like most normal human beings, was trying to sleep. The rep apolog apologized, saying that he would notify the root supervisor. Alfred said that this was the fourth time he had called in the last three weeks. He said he wanted to talk to the supervisor di directly. Okay, very good. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's start off with the word supervisor. Give me a good V sound instead of supervisor with the B supervisor. Try that. Uh, supervisor. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, also, let's go to apologize. Apollo. Apollo. Apologize. Apologize. That's good. That's good. All right. Now let's add that ed on the end here. So it's apologized. Apologized. Okay. All right, better. Let's try for a D sound. You added a T saying apologized instead of T. We want D. Apologized. Apologized. Okay, almost, almost. So we'll we'll uh, we'll see if we can find another word here uh, to work on that D ending just a little bit because it, it does get a little tricky. Okay. Um, the last word here is the word rep. Okay. Uh, on this word, you ended up uh, putting a T at the very end, saying rep. Okay. So let's try and end just on the P. Okay. So we're going to say the rep to tell. The rep to tell. Try that. The rep to tell. There you go. Good. Good. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's uh, continue here with Leonardo. And Leonardo, let me have you read from the rep said. Uh, finish this paragraph. And let's see, read down to here where it says downstairs, please. Okay. Mm. Let me see. Okay. The rep said that they would leave a message for the supervisor to call Alfred. Alfred drove it. He says he had heard this before. He was beginning to wonder if a root supervisor even exists. By 60 p.m., the root supervisor hadn't called. The na that night, Alfred set his alarm, his alarm for 5.12 a.m., 20 a.m. The next morning, he walked down the stairs. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word supervisor right here. Give me a good V sound. Supervisor. Supervisor. All right, very good. Very good. Uh, next up, we have uh, beginning to wonder. Try this. Beginning to wonder. Beginning to wonder. 
All right, very nice. Okay, um, and our next one is rolled. Okay, so right here, give me a good R at the beginning, and instead of uh, rolled, it's rolled with a D sound at the end. Try that. Okay, roll. Okay, almost. Now, uh, pronounce a D. Okay, so it is rolled. Rolled. Okay. Now, the the difference between the English D and the Spanish D okay. is that when you pronounce the D in Spanish, your tongue touches your teeth. Okay. If, uh, if that seems strange to you, you can say the word donde and think about what your tongue is doing. Okay. Your tongue touches the back of your teeth. All right. In okay. English, when we pronounce the D, it feels sort of like an, an R in Spanish. Okay. A D sound. So, for example, if we have the word aire, okay, my tongue hits the top of my mouth, aire. Okay. It's similar to the word did. Okay. Listen to the similarities. Aire, did. My tongue is hitting my mouth in the same spot, hitting the top of my mouth. Okay, so that's the sound you want to pronounce at the very end, sort of like a Spanish R sound. So it's rolled. Okay, rolled. try that. Rolled. Almost, almost, almost. You're pronouncing a T. Pull your tongue back just a little bit. Let's try this. I want you to say D, D, D. Just try that sound. D, D. Okay, rolled. one more time. D, D, D. D, D, D. Okay, good. So let's try this. We're going to say roll d. Roll. Almost. One more time. Roll d. Roll d. There you go. Good. Good. Now it's in the right position. One more time. Roll d. Roll d. Uh, almost. Push the tongue back just a little bit more so you can get a okay. d sound. Roll d. Roll d. Good. There you go. Okay, one more time. Oh, Roll d. Roll d. Okay, almost. So um, you have to you have to push it back just a little bit more uh, to be able to pronounce that D. So you you've said it good twice now, right? So okay. uh, we'll keep working on it because the D is important. The D is important to be able to pronounce that at the end of the word end of a word because we have that sound a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, one last word for you is the word wood. Right here. Here again, we have a D at the end, but we're looking at the L. The L in this word is silent. We do not say wold, it's wood. Try that. Wood. Good, good. All right, nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's continue here. Let's go to Amparo. And Amparo, let me have you read from a few minutes later. Finish this paragraph. And let's have you read down to... Um. Uh, yeah, let's do here. So, uh, place, uh, uh, place it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. A few minutes later, the paper boy drove drove up. He ran over to Alfred's apartment building. When he saw Alfred standing there, he handed him the paper. Alfred thought he had told him to stop throwing the paper onto the steps. You are waking me up. Uh, place the paper on the steps quietly. Do not throw it. Place it, okay? Okay, very good. All right, so um, uh, two things here, okay? So first up, we have the word drove. Give me a good DR sound instead of drove. It's drove. Drove. Good, good. One more time. Uh, drove. Drove. Okay. All right, now let's try the word up after it. So when you pronounce this word, you said ah, op, with an mm -hmm. ah sound. Instead of ah, narrow the vowel just a little bit. Uh, uh, up. Up. Good. So this is going to be drove up. Drove up. Uh-huh. Now, connect these just a little bit. So instead of thinking of that V as the end of mm -hmm. drove, think of it as the beginning of up. So it's drove up. Drove up. Good. Just like that. Okay. That's how you would connect those two words. Okay. okay. Nice okay. job. Everything else is pretty good. Okay. Very good job. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Let's go to Ida. And Ida, let me have you uh, finish up our story reading from The Paper Boy Nodded down to Times Online. The Paper Boy nodded and ran back to his core 
at 5.30 the next morning, Alfred woke up. The paper had just been thrown into the steps. He heard the car drive off. Enough was enough. Even though he loved the convenience of home delivery, Alfred's sleep was far more valuable to him. Starting tomorrow, he would read the Times online. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to two words here for you. Uh, first up, we have the word drive. Okay, so instead of drive off, it is dr drive. Drive. Good, good. So let's try this in the sentence. Um, the car drive off. Right here, the car drive off. The car drive off. All right, very good. Now, uh, our last word here is at, at the beginning. Now, when you first said the word car, you had said core. We're using an or sound. This is an ah, r. So it's ka, car, car. Try that. Car. Car. There you go. Good. Good. All right, nice job. Nice job. Everything else is nice. Okay, really good pronunciations. Thank you. Okay, let's, let's continue here. All right, Victor, please uh, please read from many years ago. Uh, finish this paragraph and read down to here where it says, Mauda, was, uh, Mar Mauda, only 19, was sick. Please. Many years ago, some w women made a meager living by working in a cigarette factory. It was their job to put 20 cigarettes in each pack by hand. Their manager was a mean old man. He carried a bamboo rod in his hand. His bodyguard, who accompanied him everywhere, was even meaner. Mora, only 19, was sick. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look at four words. Uh, first up, we have the word accompanied. So our stress is right here. Accompanied. Accompanied. All right, very nice. All right, next up we have the word bodyguard, bodyguard. Bodyguard. All right, excellent. Okay, next up we have the word cigarettes. So focusing on a short I sound here at the beginning, cigarettes. Cigarettes. Okay, very good. And the last one is uh, put. Okay, right here instead of poo, put, it's pu, put. Put. All right, great. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. No problem. Uh, all right, good. Let's go to Orlando. Okay. And Orlando, let me have you continue uh, reading from But She Knew That. Okay, and read down to uh, here, uh, Her in the Stomach, please. Okay. Mm, but she knew that if she didn't go to work, she would would lose her job. At the factory that, that day, she stuffed pack after pack of cigarettes, sweating and dizzy. She left a cigarette out of one pack. The manager noticed her error immediately. Uh, he yelled at her, at her and then hit her sharply across her back with the rod. Uh, then the body ward kicked her in the stomach. Okay, very good. All right, let's uh, let's take a look here. First up, we have the word bodyguard. Bodyguard. Try that. Bodyguard. All right. Now with this D here. Okay, we want to pronounce that like an R. Body, body, bodyguard. Oh. That's bodyguard. it. Good, good. All right, now let's work on the D sound at the end of a word, okay? This one's a, uh, an easier one than the one we had before, okay? So this word is rod, okay? Just like you did here with body, okay? Same thing, body, okay? We're going to say rod, okay? Just ending the word with your tongue hitting the top of your mouth. Okay, let's try this here. Rod. Rod. Yes, good. Okay, that's it. One more time. 
Rod. Rod. Good. That's the D sound. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's try this one here. So we're going to say staggered. 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 Yes. Good. Okay. I know that wasn't one of your words. It was just one that was right below. I was like, hey, there's another D word. Okay. Let's try this one here. This word is and. <laughs> okay, give me a D there. And. And. Yes, good. All right, one last one, okay? Nice D sounds. Okay, the word is yelled, yelled. Yelled. Good, all right? Excellent D sound at the end. Now, on this word, make sure you're using an English Y instead of a Spanish Y. So instead of saying yelled, it's E. Start off with the knee sound. Ye, yelled. Okay, try that. Yelled. Yield. Great, great, nice job. Okay, good. Much better job with those D endings. That's how the D sounds and how it feels. Okay, really good job. Okay, thank you. This word here is manager instead of manager. 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 Good. Okay. Um, our next one here is the word sweating. Uh, where did you go? Right here. Sweating. Try that. Sweating. Good. One more time. Sweating. Sweating. Good. And the last word is the word wood. Right up above, instead of woo, wood. Okay, it's an uh sound with a D at the end. Woo, wood. Wood. Good. One more time. Wood. Wood. Great. Great. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Let's go to... Omar, how you doing, Omar? Hello, teacher. I'm doing great. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Good to have you back today. Uh, let me have you continue from Mauda Got Up. Okay, finish this paragraph and read here on the next paragraph until still don't didn't move. Okay. Okay. Maura got up and staggered out of the factory. She died at home the next day. The day after Maura died, her co-workers refused to enter the factory. They stood outside. The manager told them to get to work. He raised him his arms as if to strike them, but they stood firm. He told them he was going to get the police. They still didn't move. All right, great job. Really good job. Let's take a look at uh, two parts here. First up, raised. Give me a D sound here at the end. Okay, raised. Raised. Good, one more time. Raised. Raised. Okay, good. And let's try this one here. This is um, uh, refuse to enter the factory. Refuse to enter the factory. Focusing on the word the. Give me a good TH. Try that. Refuse to enter the factory. Good. One more time. Refuse to enter the factory. Refuse to enter the factory. Good. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see here. Next up is Nurel. How you doing, Nurel? Hi, teacher. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. All right, let's have you continue, please. Reading from sure. The Bodyguard. Okay, Thank finish you. this paragraph. And I'll have you read down to uh, here, please, where it says uh, a nickel per day raise. Okay. The bodyguard went inside and called the police. The police chief came. The women told the police chief what had happened tomorrow. He arrested the manager and the bodyguard. He called the owner of the factory. A new manager arrived. Later that morning, he told the workers that they would all get the equivalent of nickel per day raise. All right, excellent, excellent. Okay, 
let's take a look here. Uh, so first up, we have the word equivalent. Equi equivalent. Try that. Okay. Equivalent. Equi. Equivalent. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay. Uh, next one, we're going to work on the th sound. Okay. So he told the workers. He told the workers. Try that. He told the workers. All the right. Workers. Very good. Now, this word here is going to be were instead of were workers with an O R sound. It's an E R sound. Were workers. Workers. Yeah, just like that. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's go to. Uh, let's go to the word bodyguard right here instead of body. It's an ah body. sound. Ba body bodyguard. Body bodyguard body. Ready All right. Down. Very good. And the last thing here is the word women. Okay. So instead of saying we, we men, with an E sound, it's we, short I, women. 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 There you go. Good. Good. Women. Nice job. Thank you, teacher. No problem. All right. Great. Let's uh, continue here. Okay, good. And our next reader is uh, Leonardo. Okay, Leonardo, let me have you read from They Went Back to Work and then finish off the story. I'll then have you read a little bit more on the next story, okay? Go ahead. Okay. I try. <laughs> they went back to the work. Before the chief, Hank Kuf, the manager, um put him in the police car. The manager quietly offered the chief a great deal of money to let him escape. He told the chief he would leave the country and never return. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the word would. Okay, this word is pronounced wo, would. Would. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's go to. Okay. Let's go to the word gr great. A great deal of money. Try that. A great deal of money. A great deal of money. All right. Very nice. Uh, this word here is pronounced puh, put instead of poo put. It's puh, put. Put. All right. Very nice. And. This one here is pronounced handcuffed instead of handcuffed, handcuffed. Handcuff. Okay. Now with a T sound at the end of the word, handcuffed. Handcuffed. Good. All right. And last one here, this is before the chief. Focus on that R on before. So instead of saying before, before the chief, it's before the chief. Before the chief. Uh huh. Good. One more time. Before the chief. Before the chief. All right. Better. Better. Nice job. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good. All right, you guys. Let's go to our next story. All right. And this is for Amparo. And Amparo, please uh, read this very first paragraph from "What's That Smell?" back to the market, please. Okay. What's that smell? Nadine wondered. She had bought a big piece of pork from the market four hours ago. As always, she held the pork after the butcher handed it, off, uh, handed it to her. It had smelled fine, but now it didn't. She got into the other side of the pork and took another sniff. Annoyed, she wrapped up the pork, grabbed her uh, sip, sipped, and drove back to the market. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to this word here. The P is silent. Okay, the word is pronounced receipt. 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 Okay, very good. All right, let's go to wrapped up. All right, so let's take that T sound and we'll connect it to, to up. So the word is tup. Okay, so she wrapped up the pork. She wrapped up the pork. 
She wrapped up the book. Great, great, nice job. Okay, uh, next up is, uh, let's see here, the word uh, into, okay, so she cut into, okay, so instead of cut, cut, it's cu, cut. She cut she into cut the in. other side. She cut into the other side. Okay, instead of other, other. other. There you go, one more time. She, she cut, cut into the other side. She cut into the other side. Good. All right, nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so it smelled. Where we go? Oh, one receipt and drove to the market. That's where we're at. Okay, great. Um, next up is Ida. And let's see here. Ida, please continue from she went up to the same butcher. Okay, she and read down to here where it says uh, who had better noses, please. Okay. She went up to the same butcher who had handed her the pork that morning. She asked him to smell the pork. He said that it smelled okay and gave it back to her. She told him to call the manager of the meat department. The manager came out a minute later. Nadine told him about the pork. She also told him that he needed to hire butchers who had better noses. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to the word minute instead of minute with an ut sound. Um, this it's two short i sounds. Minute, minute, minute. Okay. All right. Now let's try that uh, short i one more time at the beginning instead of me minute. Okay, with a short e, it's mi minute. Minute. Good. All right. One more time. Minute. Minute. Awesome. That's much better. All right. Now, uh, our next word is the word out. Here, you you would said outwit, saying outwit. Okay. Instead of wit, we want to say out out. Out. Good. That's it. Okay. Uh, next up, we have the word uh, gave it. Right here, so this is instead of uh, give it back to her, it's gave, gave it back to her. Gave it back to her. All right, very nice. And our last word is butcher. Now, here at the very beginning, you had said um, it was more of a butcher. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Give me a good B sound. B butcher. Butcher. All right, great, nice job, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Uh huh. All right, so better noses. All righty. Okay, let's go to let's go to Victor. Oh, okay. All right, Victor, let me have you continue from he smelled the pork. Okay, uh, finish his paragraph and read down to. Read down to here what it says, um, she gave him the pork and thanked him. He smelled the pork, he, oh, he said. He apologized to Nadine. Then he spoke to the butcher who said he couldn't smell anything because he had a cold. You have a cold and you're handling meat and fish, go home. The manager turned back to Nadine, apologized again and told her, she couldn't have a full refund. She gave him the pork and thanked him. Okay, very good, very good. Let's go to the word refund. Okay, so our stress is at the very beginning. Instead of refund, mm -hmm. it's refund. Refund. Okay, now refund is our noun. Refund is our verb. Okay, so our stress changes on that word. Okay, the noun is refund. Refund is the verb. Okay. All right. Got you. All right. This word here, this word is pronounced apologize. Okay, apologize. so. Apologize. Yeah, there we go. So our stress is right here instead of ap apologized. Okay, it's apologized. One more time. Apologized. Good, good. 
And our last word is the word fish. Okay, instead of fi fish, it's fish. Fish. All right, great, great, nice job. Thank you. Thank you, John. Okay. All right, let's go to Omar. And Omar, go ahead and uh, finish up the story. Reading from She Inspected, and uh, reading down to twenty percent discount. Okay. She inspected a couple of fresh trout and had them wrapped up. She went to the cashier at the front of the market, got a refund for the pork, paid for the fish, and walked out. While she was getting into her car, the manager told another butcher to grind up the pork with a little thyme juice and sell it and sell it at a 20% discount. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to the word uh, grind right here instead of grind. Grind, okay, it's gry, grind. Grind, grind. All right, very nice. Okay, and one other word for you. Okay, it's uh, up here. It's probably a new word for you. The word this is fish. It's a type of fish. It's trout, trout. 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 Good. All right. Nice job. Everything else is, was uh, was nice, Omar. Very good job. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's uh, continue here. Okay. Next up is Leonardo. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Nurel, I s jumped right over you. I apologize. Uh, Nurel is up. Um, Nudel, please read from uh, the Meatland Packing Company. Okay. Did and you let me have you read. About me? I did. <laughs> I jumped right over you. That's I am fine. sorry. It's okay. No, it's okay. I'm uh, joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me have you read here to this this uh, comma. So an electric sh uh, electric shock stick, please. Okay. The Midland Packing Company is a coffee slather slug, house in Southern California because of rumors that workers were mistreating animals. A member of the Humane Society managed to visit the slaughter house one day with his video camera. He secretly filmed a worker prodding a lame cow with an electric shark stick. Okay, so uh, one thing that I want to uh, uh, talk about before I go to the pronunciations real quick is a little bit on intonation. Okay, so here, for example, this part here, uh, you were um, going along, and every other word you were pushing on it, saying, a member of the Humane Society managed mm. to visit, okay, and pushing mm. on every other, uh, almost every other syllable, okay? Mm. So when, if I were to read this, I would say, a member of the Humane Society, so I'm going to stress humane. The member, a member of the Humane Society managed to visit, okay, I'm going to stress visit, okay, managed to visit the slaughterhouse, slaughter, okay, managed to visit the slaughterhouse one day, and I'm going down, okay, a member of the Humane Society managed to visit the slaughterhouse one day, try that okay. much. Yes, a member of the Humane Society managed to visit the slaughterhouse one day. Slaughterhouse one day. Okay, so it's slaughterhouse one day. So come down on it. Slaughterhouse one day. Yeah, slaughterhouse one day. Slaughterhouse one day. Okay, all right. Let's try it one more time. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. a member of the humane society. I'm not. I don't want to go up a level. So so uh, not like this. A so, member of the humane. Okay, I don't want to go up that high, just a little oh, bit. Just the humane. Bit. Yeah, so humane. Da, 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 it's actually one one note. Okay, if you're talking. Mm, yes. 
So one note, you're going one note up on the staff. If you if you know music, okay, oh. one uh, going you're going from a line note to a space note, okay, one note, okay, a member of the humane society, okay, just try that much. Okay, a member of the humane society managed to visit the slaughterhouse one day. That's it. Good. Mm, okay. I see. So it's yes. just a little bit, just a little bit of a push. Oh, thank you. I uh -huh. see. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Let's take a look at some pronunciations. All right. So first up, okay, secretly instead of secretly, secretly. Secretly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Uh, next up is uh, the word. With, okay. Give me a short I instead of with. With, it's with. With, uh, very short, short e, right? Yeah, uh, it's yeah. short i. With, uh, short with. I. Yes, with. Yeah, with. 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 Okay. With. Uh, this word here, a uh, short i as well. Instead of long e, you had said animals. Okay, mm -hmm. it's an animals. Animals. Okay. Animals. Animals. There you go. Animals. Animals. All right, Animals. good. Animals. And the last word here is right up above there. So let's try slaughterhouse one more time. Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. Slaughter. Slaughterhouse. Okay, good. Good. All right, thank you. Nice job. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. No problem. Okay, let's uh, continue here. Let's go to Leonardo now. Now it's your turn, Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. okay, let me have you read from a worker pushing a, a sick cow. Okay, uh, finish uh, and uh, go ahead and finish this paragraph. Okay. Okay. Um, a worker pushing a sick cow with a with the metal bars of a fork leaf, and a worker shooting water from a hose into the nostril. Of a sick cow, he filled a fourth leaf operator, lifting and transporting dead cows onto the kill floor. The video made national TV news. The workers told federal investigators that they were only following orders. Okay. All right. Good. Now let's uh, let's take a look at this word here instead of orders. Okay. Uh, control your tongue on that R. Okay. Until you get to the D, that's when you want to create the R sound. So it's orders. 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 Good. Good. One more time. Or orders. Orders. Good. Okay. Now let's go to the word investigators. Give me a good V sound here. Investigators. Investigators. Okay, you're very close. Okay, remember your top teeth on your bottom lip. V investigators with a vibration. Investigators. Okay. All right. So you're very close. You're saying investigators. Okay. So let's try this sound. So please repeat after me. V. v. Good. One more time. V. v. Hold that out. Okay. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna say in the just that much in the in the. Okay, good. One more time in the in the. Okay, all right. Let's try this. We're gonna say invest. Invest. Okay, good. Focus on that V. One more time. Invest. Invest. Ah, go back to the vibration. Okay, you're saying okay. invest. Okay, one more time. In invest. Investing. Okay, so let's slow it down. Okay, investi. Investi. Uh, all right, try that vibration. Okay, Heart hold that me. vibration. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's it's challenging, no doubt. Yeah. Okay, so let's try that one more time. So, investing. Investi. Good. Okay. All right. Now let's try the whole word. Hold on to that V though. Okay. Investigators. Investigators. Uh, let's vib let's vibrate that V, okay? So, investigators. Investigators. There you go. Much better. 
Much better. Okay. One la one last time. Investigators. Investigators. Yes, good. That's the V sound. <laughs> okay. Finally. Yeah, so if you have in your mind, if you're saying, oh, I have to hold it out for a really long time, even though you don't get there, when you're trying to do that, your your mouth actually forces into it just a little bit, which is what I wanted, which is a small sound, which is what you pronounced, okay, instead of saying investigators, okay? So yeah, that V is tricky. Um, uh, one thing that I would do, okay, is practice that sound, practice holding it out, okay? okay. So when you're getting ready in the morning or something like that, when no one else is around or whatever, okay, <laughs> take a minute or so, okay, uh, take a minute or so and try that V sound. Seriously, that's what I had to do to learn how to pronounce the the rolled R in Spanish. Okay, mm -hmm. I would in the morning I'd be getting ready and I'd be practicing my R sound. Okay, because it's it's so difficult for a lot of people to say or a lot of uh, English speakers to say that is. Okay, all right, let's uh, take a yeah, look it's really at difficult. yeah. Um, let's take a look at this word here. The word is nostrils. 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 Good, good. One more time. Nostrils. Nostrils. Good. All right. Very good. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Chad. Uh huh. Uh, great. Let's go to Irfan. Irfan, how are you? Go ahead and unmute your microphone. Uh, let's see, uh, Naim, Irfan Naim. Okay. Uh, nope, I can't hear you, buddy. You have to. Uh, there's a red microphone on your picture. Okay. Uh, click on that red microphone. Okay, because you are muted. Okay. There can you, you hear me? Yes. Now I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Good. How How do I pronounce your name correctly? What does it sound like? Irfan. Uh, Irfan. Irfan. Okay, got yeah. it. Stress on the end. And Irfan, where are you from? I'm from India. From India. Okay, great. All right. Let's uh, let's see. Let's go from. Okay, the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Okay, okay. and let me have you read till. Uh, here where it says uh, recall recall in the U.S. Please. Okay. Uh, in in American accent, I have to speak, or in my in the accent which in which I am speaking. Hello. Hello. Okay. So in your best American accent. Okay. Give me good R's. Okay. Work on your placement okay. of your t of your tongue. Um, work on good L sounds and good T sounds. Okay. Okay, fine. I'm trying. All now right. you have... Okay. Can I stop? Go ahead. Of agriculture requires humane treatment of sick and lame cows. It allows the slaughter of healthy cows only. Meatland Packing Company is a major beef supplier to U.S. school systems and fast food outlets. USDA demanded a recall of all meat land beef, 43 million pounds, the largest mm -hmm. amount of beef ever recalled in the U.S. All right, very good. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay, okay. so uh, first up we have the word recalled. Okay, so instead of saying recalled, okay, this okay. is recalled. Try that. Okay, recalled. Okay, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word uh, demanded. Okay, um, okay. Okay. Demanded. Try that. Demanded. Okay, demanded. very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next up, we have the word major. Give me a good J sound here. Major. 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 Okay. That's it. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last word for you is the word slaughter. Now, with that T sound, we are going to pronounce it like a D, 
okay, or an R, okay, okay, but when you say that, make sure that you're hitting the top of your mouth and not touching your teeth, okay, it's slaughter, try that, slaughter, okay, one more time, slaughter, slaughter, okay, all right, pretty good, nice job, thank you. All right, let's continue here. Let's go to Amparo. All right, Amparo, please continue from unfortunately. Okay, finish this uh, this paragraph and uh, read down to, uh, that'll be, oh, good. Let's go to this, this comma. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, unfortunately, uh, said a health official, the USDA, became aware of the problem too late. Almost all of the beef, beef had been consumed before the recall was announced. Consumers got lucky this time, the official said. We haven't had one report of illness. Next time, consumers won't be so lucky. And there will be a next time. All right, very good. Now, um, you were a hundred percent until you switched beef. The first time you said it, you said it good, okay, or well rather. So, um, yeah, you said it just fine, okay. So it was beef, and then you switch it and said no biff, okay. So the first time you said it was great. So let's try this one more time. We're going to say almost all the beef. Almost all the beef. There, that's it. Okay, good. Okay, everything else was really nice. Okay, no, no other issues with any, uh, any other vowel sounds. Okay, really good job. Okay, thank you. Good. Okay, let's go to Ida. And Ida, let me have you finish up the, the story, reading from because down to the end. Because USDA inspects only 5% of the nation's meat supply, a federal prospector's had charged two land supervisors with felony animal correctly. Both men could spend 60 years in prison if convicted. The Human Society asked the public to donate more money to help it prevent more correctly to animals. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to uh, the word donate. Right here, so the stress is at the beginning of the word. Instead of donate, it's donate. Donate. All right, very nice. Um, next up, we have the word, let's see here. This is humane. So the stress is at the end. We're going to use a long A sound. Humane. Humane. Uh -huh, one more time. Humane. Humane. Okay, now let's uh, let's try that long a one more time. So uh, you're saying human. Okay, so we're adding more of an e sound at a long e sound at the beginning instead of mien, it's a. So switch that around. Humane. Human. Okay, almost. So I want you to try this with me. I want you to say may just that much. May. May. Uh huh. Good. One more time. May. May. Good. Yeah. So we're dropping the tongue now. What we're going to do is add the n on the end. Okay. So drop the tongue, and then your tongue will raise to pronounce the long e sound. Because the long a is a diphthong, it has two vowel sounds in it. A. Okay. So it's main. Main. Uh, almost. So you're you're switching them. You're pronouncing them backwards, saying mean. Okay, instead of mean, it's main. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Let's, let's say it. There you go. Okay, nice, nice and slow. Main. Main. There, that's it. Okay, all right, so we're going to say humane. Humane. Great, that's it. Okay, so that long A sound, okay, um, you tend to pronounce the, uh, the diphthong in reverse. Okay, instead of a e, you say e a. Okay, so we're gonna try and work on uh, reversing that. Okay, so you're you're pronouncing it a e instead of e a. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, our next word here is the word cruelty. Cruel. Cruelty. Cruelty. Good. Good. Uh, next one here is the word charged. Ed ending. Charged. Charged. Okay. Very good. And uh, this word here is pronounced prosecutor. 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 Good. Good. All right. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you for coming into class this hour. It was it was great having you here. We are uh, just about out of time. Uh, I'm going to be taking a break until tomorrow, and we'll be doing uh, some reading classes, some uh, spelling classes, taking a look at some sentences, and then also practice, practicing TOEFL, uh, TOEFL answers or answering TOEFL questions. Okay? All right, you guys. Thanks for coming in. We'll see you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Nora. See you. Bye, Aida.